this is how you use Sandboxy. You want to go to sandboxyplus.com slash downloads. Um, what you want to do is you want to take the first version, which is Windows 10 or 11. Um, you download that. Okay. As you can see, it's downloading. Open that up. And then you want to download the whole thing. I accept the agreement. Next. Install. Next. 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 Install. Takes like five seconds. Run. Alright, so now we've got Sandboxy. Um, I don't care about that. I don't care about that. So basically, once you have it installed, you're going to have a default box, right? So what you want to do you want to right click somewhere in the white space or the gray space depending on what your uh, computer will show it's either going to be white or gray create a new box you can call this my account or whatever you can rename it later um, you can right click it you can rename the sandbox so if you want to name it something else later if you know what the account is um, so what you want to do or actually you can also remove the sandbox if you want to like delete it and cr uh, create a new one later it just deletes it run program, run run program, and then you want to browse your computer, and then what you want to do is you want to go to uh, Steam, which is usually under this PC, it takes a little, uh, a little bit of time to load, okay, this PC, and then you go to local disk C, program files 86, Steam, then you want to look for Steam, so open this application here, and then click OK, and then it'll open up Steam and Sandboxy. This is not normal Steam, this is Sandboxy Steam. So when you have a Sandboxy, you'll have a yellow box around it when you drag it around from the top, and that uh, shows you that you're in uh, Sandboxy. Now, I'm not actually gonna log in, but that's basically how you run Steam and Sandboxy, and then once you log in to your account, you'll have an install services thing come up. You wanna click cancel on that, it'll be like a really thin pop-up box and it'll say Steam services not um, installed and then you have a cancel or install services always click cancel if that doesn't pop up it'll normally just pop up at the advertisement game and then like the Steam itself if you had a Steam account and um, logged in previously it'll log you into that uh, automatically so what you want to do is you want to log out of that even though it's like your main Steam you log out because it's in sandboxy and then you re-log into your other account as long as you're like it usually saves your uh, your info. So if you open up this and it's already logging into your Steam, you want to log out and you want to log into the other account because um, Steam made an update where they save their info. So basically, just log into your Steam and then click, click cancel and install services, and that's pretty much it. After that, what you want to do is you right click it again and then you run another program. And then you want to find your SPPE, so wherever that is in your computer. I don't have SPPE on this computer because it's a different computer I'm using to record this video. But you just want to run your um, you want to run your sandboxy, your run.bat. Um, so you find your run.bat. It's usually people's desktops or something. But you want to click programs and all files because if you don't click all files, it won't show like um, other programs. It only show the folders. So. Just make sure you click all files, you find your sandboxy SPP folder, and then you click open it, and then it should just run SPP once you're logged into Steam, and that's how you do it. Pretty simple, I don't really need to show half the stuff you do, I don't need to log in, it's basically just running Steam first, and then running um, SPP in sandboxy with the right click run run program. And then you also want to uh, make sure you're right logged into the proper Steam account because you can always just see where you're at the top corner. It'll show you what account you're logged into and just log out and re-log in. Um, sandboxy is yellow, a uh, yellow box if you move it around. And then click cancel on install services. That's it. The last thing I was going to mention is I forgot you're supposed to right click and terminate all programs um, to close out the Steam that's running. So like it'll automatically be in the drop down here once you open up it for the first time. If you run it again, that option will be here. Don't click, uh, like, I accidentally click this X button. I didn't know what that does, and it clears your drop down box. So you don't want to press that X button. And if you want to get rid of the Steam that's open or the SUV, you just right click the account you're on and terminate all programs.
Now, if you want to get rid of that sandbox, you can just remove the sandbox. Steam will save your info, so you don't have to enter your um, username every time. You just have to enter the password, but it'll save your username for that uh, sandbox account. But if you just want to get rid of it, you can. You just click uh, remove sandbox, and that's pretty much it. Also, if you um, close out your Steam, let's say you click cancel, let's say you clicked uh, X on the advertisement, and then you close the Steam itself. Let's say you close Steam, but it's still running, and you want to reopen it then you just right click and then you run the same thing where you just run steam and then it'll reopen that steam um, account but I didn't log in so it like reopened the steam web helper thing but for you if you are logged in already it'll just reopen the steam account uh, um, with all the games on the side and everything so just if you want to reopen it and you close the steam because you just want to have SPP open you don't want to have the extra steams open just like run steam again basically and it'll reopen the steam account um, that's pretty much all you have to do to reopen this team. If you have any questions, you can always leave a comment. Um, I'll probably reply to it. If not, other people will reply to it because they know how to do it. Thank you for watching and have a good day.